Hello everybody, I'm Happy Pinecone, and welcome to another drawing with me video where I talk about stuff as the speed paint plays. This video would most likely come out during or after New Year, so whatever the case, Happy New Year! Time flies so fast and I'm starting to feel the changes that are beginning to shift my status quo, from new life obligations to future projects. To celebrate the New Year, I want to talk about my New Year resolutions or at least some of the goals that I want to accomplish for my creative life, especially for this channel because oh boy, I wasn't very active last year, so sorry about that. Anyway, without further ado, take a seat and draw with me. I have been in a creative slump lately where nothing I made felt right which led to lots of incomplete artwork littering my computer. From unfinished coloring to dropping the second sketch entirely, drawing hasn't been easy for a while now. Long story short, I realized that this wasn't just due to my limited skills but also because I was being too critical of myself to the point that I wanted everything to be perfect. So for this year, I wanted to try lessening this problem by striving to finish what I started in the most realistic and reasonable way possible. Like I'm not going to be stuck in one work forever if it's taking way too long but yeah whatever the case, whether it be very polished or s just slightly neater sketches or even though it ends up not being the most pretty thing ever, I want to be able to finish something so that I can be able to learn more from it. So yeah. One of my first steps to doing that is finishing one of my old doodles for when Eric comes through the world that I found lying around my laptop. For context, I would Sunday to make these doodles for my comic. They were very neat sketches, kind of close to the quality of my line work, but I didn't plan on making final illustrations out of them, so I was very loose with the coloring and details. For this illustration, it was supposed to be Mouse and Happy wearing party clothes, but I apparently only reached Mouse's second sketch. So yeah, that being said, since it's New Year, I thought it would be appropriate to finish it. Speaking of which, I realized I should probably do more fashion studies this year. Not only for variety's sake, I wanted to do more than just draw school uniforms, triangular dresses, and t-shirt pants pairings after all, but also because I slowly grew to enjoy the process of enhancing one's beauty through the power of clothes and makeup. While I do care about my appearance and what I wear, I'm very much indifferent to window shopping. Not a lot of clothes or accessories spoke to me and my mind's more interested in books and toys. However, as time went on, I think I'm beginning to see the appeal of fashion, especially as a means of self-expression. They say the body reflects the mind and what other way to show that than through the clothes they wear. Now that I think about it, the manga I've read knew this concept with so many of their characters' personalities just spilling out through their outfits alone, so... Yeah, sorry for the weird tangent, but yeah, overall I really want to try looking for more fashion references in the future, not only to improve my drawings, but because I just like to draw a drip. And as always, I want to try improving my figure drawings, overall composition skills, and maybe dabble with more background art. Doing my comics currently one of the best ways to cover all that. I definitely also want to make more fan art. I know it's so random, but I enjoy a lot of stuff, and I am involved with plenty of fandoms. Even if it's a more solo level, but I am involved in a lot of fandoms in my own way and I realized that despite that I didn't make a lot of fan art so I really want to express my love for certain stories through fan art. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm recently trying to do that through my recent Disgaea 4 fan art. I made two, a Prinny and a Volcanus or Artina if you're into spoilers. I've been playing a lot of Disgaea 4 lately and it's been a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to try the other Disgaea games soon. Anyway, in relation to the channel, for this year, I think it's kind of related to I wanted to make more fan art of it. I really really want to try posting animatics again. I only released two and it's been a while since I released another one. In fact, making animatics was one of the primary reasons why I wanted to try digital art in the first place. There's just something about watching a story I made come to motion in a music video fashion that's so satisfying and cool. I have so many concept notes for future animatics including fan OPs for my fan fiction and stuff, but I wasn't able to make as much as I like due to life obligations, lack of time, and perhaps my lack of confidence in making something good. That being said, I wanted to try releasing at least one animatic this year. Maybe then it will drive me to make more and finally be able to do what I really like to do. Speaking of wanting to be able to do what I really like to do, this year I want to add to the type of content I am currently making with something I've been itching to do for a long time now. Besides animatics. As you know, I mostly produce speedbait commentary videos about random topics, whether it be life updates, personal insights, or just about my interests. While I enjoy making them, there are certain types of content that I also want to pursue, but 
the reason why I didn't showcase them yet is because I am trying to figure out how to present them in a way that I could call my own. I spent the whole year trying to figure that out, but most of my concept scripts weren't ready for production. And with a 4GB RAM laptop that would crash during video editing, I want to make something that would be worth all that, you know? So with that in mind, I expect videos that may be a tad different from the type of content I usually make to appear in the future. In fact, if you read through some of my community tab posts, I am in the process of creating the pilot that would be my first weird video. I hope you look forward to it and hopefully I'll be able to be a little more active in the channel this year. Anyway, I think that's that. Thank you so much for listening to my resolutions until the end. My casual resolution is to try more video games. I've been getting into them recently and it's been fun. What are your resolutions for this year? Let me know in the comments below as well as your questions, suggestions, and or anime recommendations. Once again, I am Happy Pinecone and see you next time.